name's Yannick White. Um, I'm the co-founder of CGC, Chain Gang Cyclists. Um, from a professional perspective, I'm a VP of sales for a technology company. So I work in Canary Wolf and I manage a global sales team in different regions of the world. I think, um, I think in the pandemic it was difficult for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons and I think health and well-being and exercise is, um, is just a key um, activity for us to do just to keep um, a certain purple, purposeness to, to life so it's just created um, a charity ride at the time it was going to be our longest bike ride um, I think 50 plus miles and um, we ended up with a uh, uh, a breadth of people that joined, I think 42 in total, and then we raised some money for, for some charities. So that's kind of the humble beginnings. Uh, Mind UK is a charity that really supports and focuses on mental health and well-being. So we decided to um, dedicate our, our ride towards a charitable cause, which was Mind UK. Um, and I think that a lot of people resonated with that message. And so as a result, we had, um, as I say, around 42 people that joined, um, we raised over £12,000 for Mind UK um, and it was just really about trying to give back but at the same token um, I think that inclusivity within the sport is super super important and um, we, we host weekly rides for four rides per week and we try and make it as accessible as possible by having um, designated ride leaders who ride at different speeds which therefore means if you're a beginner or an intermediate or somebody who wants to excel and go into racing yeah. that we can really try to accommodate um, for that different skill set. And so trying to provide an opportunity where everyone who's interested in joining has the ability to do so in one of our rides is really important for us, I think. Yeah. Recently just done Manchester to London, which was um, a charity that was focused on autism, so ambition about autism. Uh, my nephew's autistic and my brother rides with me. And so um, he did that ride last year. It landed on Father's Day. I've got three kids, so I couldn't make it. This year, it was a week after Father's Day. So as soon as I knew that, I knew that I wanted to do that. One, because Autism, for example, is a charity that's really close to like my personal like circumstance. My name is Pritesh Patel. Um, I'm a recruiter um, and I've been with Chain Gang Cyclists since the very beginning. Been cycling since lockdown with my guy, Yannick White, who's the founder, co-founder of, uh, of our cycling group. Um, I think the challenges I face is, is keeping up with the rest of the gang, to be honest. Um, the gang is always evolving. Um, the group is always evolving. Um, and we're, we're increasing our cycling uh, capacity um, day in, day out. And we're finding now we're getting all different types of riders, you know, really top end riders that are now racing to the juniors, to the amateurs, you know, to people that just cycle on in the summer. A cycling is 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 a more of a mental sport as it is physical and what we've all realized and we've been educated on whilst we've been cycling and the longer distances we do is our nutrition nutrition is a very important part of cycling um, it's amazing um, to find out how often you have to eat to make sure that your biological engine is is rolling over and keep ticking otherwise you can hit a a, a, a zone where you know you're totally out of power and it, it happens from time to time but nutrition um, is key as a designer i'm used to drawing things um, so i look at a map and i can visualize something within the map and from there, what, we, what I tend to do is I plot out a route and then I ride it and have my Garmin running and this records my ride and it usually forms the shape of a picture. So I've done numerous things. Uh, you'll have to go on my Instagram to see them, but um, I've done everything from the Queen's Head to Leaping Tigers to Black Unity Ride. So you'll see things um, on, the, uh, on my Instagram. Um, and these, these rides can be over 300 kilometers, and I do this in one go. So I would ride through night, day, and then back through night again. So all in one go. Uh, it's good fun, uh, but like I say, it's all about 
mind over matter. You like you really have to concentrate and you push yourself to the limits, really. But um, it's endurance, and this is what I love about it. Hi, I'm Jenny Morgan, and I am a recreational. Sometimes I race a cyclist from Jamaica, and I am a visiting member of the Chain Gang Cyclists. Uh, a few years ago, during lockdown, it was that a group of them just decided, hey, we're going to do this ride in aid of charity. And they decided, they found a charity that they wanted to support. And so they've always, since the inception, encouraged people to do riding for charitable initiatives and for supporting and, and do a good cause. I think it is absolutely brilliant. Um, there are people, individuals who have sought to do charity runs. They have done it as a group. So just recently, the group did the Manchester to London um, ride and raised over 8,000 pounds together for that initiative. And that was in support of, of ambitious, to, ambitious, ambitious for autism. I'm doing a ride um, later on this year in September. Um, so in September, I'm doing a ride um, with a charity called One More City. Um, they're really focused on, it's a, it's a lady who, I, who I've come to know called Christine O'Connell. Um, she has breast cancer and her charity supports um, secondary breast cancer. And it's a um, ride from one city to another city. So it's going to be from Munich to Venice, riding through the Dolomites mountains. So it'll be my hardest ride ever. I'm nervous as hell, but the cause is far superior than my nerves. Cycling is something that um, I think unites communities. And I think that charities, um, they drive causes, right? And so I think causes land well on the hearts and that's an emotional play. And people gravitate towards wanting to do something um, that serves a purpose. So whether it's um, One More City for Breast Cancer or Manchester London for Autism or the British Heart Foundation for London to Brighton, they're all relevant, really good, well put together events. This literally come back from Paris, I cycled across three days, um, 100 plus miles per day from London to Paris. And then we finished Saturday, Sunday morning, we woke up and we watched the Tour de France, right? So to be there watching the Tour de France was epic, right? Because when I first got on a bike, I never thought that I'd be riding into Paris on the day of the Tour de France finals. So I think that participating in charity initiatives as a cyclist, especially as a cyclist who is mostly recreational, you're doing this as a hobby, you're doing it for fun, you're doing it for your peace of mind, it is really helpful. Raising funds for charity for cyclists, again, is another aspiration that we as recreational cyclists can do something that is challenging, but it is also for a worthy cause. Because every, every Sunday ride is almost a lot of new people coming in, and then, then, then it's, it's more encouraging to keep also your cycling routine going and, and, and pushing yourself and then also discovering new places. So they, they, they do different rides in different places around London, outside of London. So, so it's nice to, nice to see new places, discover new people, uh, speak during your, and, and discover also something new about cycling. And, uh, Something else you don't know, it's, it's about yeah, learning new stuff, I guess. Last question, uh, what do you think about charity runs and events uh, which contribute to professional cycling community? It's a good thing to to bring something to other people if you can. So, so encouraging that for sure. Uh, it's a nice thing all, all the time. After, but, uh, uh, yeah, why not combine more stuff in a, in a one big package? So, so yeah, definitely encouraging and, and nice. So, so, yeah, yeah, I think that's the same. I think for any kind of up and coming. Um, keen, enthusiastic person who wants to join into cycling, you can do it for leisure, you can do it for, for fitness, but you can also do it for, um, for, for hopefully gravitating towards a professional sport. Um, and I know if I could kind of relive my youth again, I wish I had a bike earlier in life, I wish I had a, a specifically a road bike earlier in life. 
um, and had access to like tracks and was able to really get into the sports side because it's it's pretty cool. And we've um, we've actually just um, developed a, a race team, um, CGC race team. So two of our riders were racing today um, at Hillens and Track. And I literally walking down here just got a message. One finished third and one finished sixth. So our team's like two months old. So, um, so yeah, hopefully when people are up and coming, we can help facilitate some track riding for them. Put that iPad down, put that PlayStation down and just get out. Yeah, enjoy the natural beauty of the earth and you could do it by cycling, you could do it for all kinds of different activities, hiking. Cycling gives you that opportunity to travel long distances and, and climb mountains and hills that you never ever think to do so. And the reward is amazing. Some of the views we've seen as a, as a group um, are amazing, you know, and some of the climbs um, we're all looking forward to, you know.